Hello, so, friends. Where are we going now? <laughs> we did Costco just now, and oh, hang on. Not the music. Oh, it's falling over in the back. Um, we got a few things at Costco. What the heck? Unknown collar. Unknown collar. Unknown collar. Holy cow, we did not pack that there very well. Oh. Spam. Hemet California's calling me. I'm mm -hmm. sure it's important. That's really important. Anyway, I, we digress. I guess we shouldn't have started the video so soon. <laughs> Costco and we got a few different things. The Lazy Susans are on rebate right now for $11.99 in case you watched the previous video of us cleaning out our pantry and the cupboards. Now I can put another one in there and I have the large one I've got to put somewhere. I don't know where I'm going to put oh, that it's one. It's always good to get a Lazy Susan when you don't know where to use it and put it. I can use one of them. <laughs> I will find a purpose. Are you kidding me? I, I, can I can you remember this when I buy stuff? I'll find a purpose somewhere. For someday, s'mores chocolate mix. Someday. He's it's a sad day, you guys. Oh I know. Costco's out of the what is it? Of the s'mores. S'more chocolate graham cracker. I seriously thing. wanted to take a, a video of him. I should have done it. He was <laughs> had walked down the aisle trying to find them and then he walked back up but there, there was just happened to be no one next to him no one down the aisle or whatever and it was seriously like this moment of all by myself like I don't have my snacks and he was like seriously pouting walking to, yes you were you were kind of sad you were I was like, sad because dude I need a munchie okay so the girl here got you what girl scout cookies and they're great it's just there's not it's only one sleeve per night there's not, not enough. <laughs> I, I haven't even good. shown him the second box and he's already like mourning the loss of them being gone. So I'm sorry, huh? That's the way it goes. That's the way it goes. So we had plans to go to the car wash. We have to, we don't have the guts, I should say. It's to, bloody cold, there's a breeze in the air. No, 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 we don't have the guts to go through the drive through oh. one. <laughs> <laughs> We're just like having- Because you have to push on the brake too hard and push the drive thing and it takes too long to engage. Yeah. And so you end up having the car behind you come up and like- Nearly hit you. Nearly hit you. And it's like- Can I get a cool drink? No, you got a bunch in the back. Can I please? Oh gosh. You mock me. Dude, if McDonald's ever were to stop being around. <laughs> tell them what, tell would... them the bumper sticker you saw the other day. Oh, I so wish I had taken pictures. There was a lady in an SUV, and on the back she's got this bumper sticker that says, follow me too, and it's got the McDonald's logo and everything. <laughs> and then it had two more sentences, and I'm just thinking like, oh What crap. else could it have At said? At least my wife doesn't have that on the back of her car. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> I think it's kind of funny. I'm curious. I, I'm going to Google it and see what, what the other sentences yeah. say on it. Maybe I'll look it up and I'll let you know. But um, anyway, I thought that was kind of funny. I wish I should have <laughs> tried to take a picture of it. It's hilarious. Um, anyway, so we wanted to go to the car wash and just do a hand wash because my car is super dirty. But it is cold. I have shorts on because I thought it would get warmer and it's it's 49. Little, I don't I don't want to be standing out there spraying it and stuff. No, it's too cold. Plus it's gonna be cold this weekend, so And then we're gonna have 70 degree weather next week. So we'll do it next week. I might even let the kids like wash the car when it's 70 as a way to like they're gonna to wanna to put their some suits on, I guarantee It'll you. It'll be school again, won't it? Yeah, but they still will. Like they'll run out during recess and oh, recess or whatever yeah. they call it. Lunch break. We'll see, we'll see. Doing oh, like look, little... all the Coke lovers. <laughs> I mean, it is that time. Yeah, time to get your fix. It's called spring break, and those that didn't go out of town all have kids that are begging for kids' meals or something by now. Which Chelsea has been begging for Wendy's because she's jealous that Kaylee got Wendy's. Kaylee and Abby got Wendy's earlier in the week, so we're thinking of maybe taking them down. It, it sounds. We need a family activity to do. It's like one of the yeah. Last days of break. We need to get them out of the house. They didn't go out of the house yesterday except for feeding the cat and 
running around for a minute because their friends just keep doing like these little day activities and so they're gone and hopefully we can get out and do something. It's just cold. I wanted to go over to Alki Beach, but I don't like being on that beach when it like you have to wear a sweatshirt and pants. It's and too cold it's for too that. Cold. If it was like a couple days ago, it'd be perfect. It'd yeah. Be awesome. Spring in the Northwest is actually quite good. But we always get like this early thing we're like, oh, it's awesome. It's awesome. And, and then, then it goes back into cold weather for a little while. Hopefully it doesn't go back in until July. Usually it gets back into nice weather, but we always get teased yep. for a little bit. I even want to get my, my potted plant ready to go out front, but I was at a nursery getting the succulents for Kaylee. That's why I kept saying I couldn't show you what store I was going to because it was a nursery um, to get Kaylee's plants. But every everywhere said, do not buy these now and take them home. You can purchase them, pay for them, and leave them here with us in the nursery and come back in May and get them. And because they'll just die. It's just, it gets too cold and too wet before May. So I want to do that, but I'm going to wait. Alright, so we got a few things that are different this time. We got these strawberry pretzels. Doesn't that look yummy? Yeah. And then we got another one of the tables. Oh, of course, because we need it. Yep, we do. And then I got a rug. And it was, I mean, Especially luckily there. we went, but it was the very last one. So it was on a lower price, the, uh, but I had to kind of just accept whatever color it was. So anything else that was different? Oh, Chelsea, we got you little pepperoni pizzas. Yay. But I am going to get pepperoni to put on the other pizzas, the cheese ones, for you to use as well. Because you still need to use those. Go lay that down right in the laundry room. Okay? And you can have some of these after you have lunch. Okay. Another tutorial headed your way soon. Jason and I just filmed cleaning out our vacuum. Absolutely disgusting. We have a Dyson vacuum. I mean, it got a gut clean. Both filters, a filter we didn't know about, the hair, he lives with five girls. So there's a lot of hair in that vacuum. So stick around for that video. It's gonna come out tomorrow. But that's what I've been, we've been doing for the past hour. And there's no one here. Abby's here. Abby's here. Poor girl. We are going to get her friends vaccinated, or her friend's parents vaccinated in the, I think they're two rounds away from the group of people I'm trying to get vaccinated with the extra vaccines. And then starting next week, 16 year olds and up start to get vaccinated here in Washington. So everywhere, everywhere, actually. Yeah. A couple days after we start everywhere in the U.S. should be at 16 and over. So hopefully Abby will be able to start hanging out with her friends and doing things and stuff. Um, just because, anyway, I've already talked about this before, but I feel bad that she's the only one kind of stuck inside. So that will hopefully change soon. All right, I mean, I've been in here editing that vacuum video after we filmed it for a couple hours now and watching Ted Lasso <laughs> on Apple Plus or on Apple TV. The teenagers have been out here watching a movie and now they're having dinner. So I want to show you what I'm doing out here. Also, Aaron sporting my, my new sweatshirt for my twin sister. So I'm gonna take you out there, but I kind of have to like just film montage style because I'm kind of uncomfortable like filming around them because I can't film them and kind of new to film around new people. I'm prepping some freezer meals with the beef that we got at Costco. Yeah, it's been in my fridge for a while. <laughs> so I need to like get it cooked and prepped. We're gonna make taco meat and sloppy joe meat. Katie wants my original homemade spice. So I need to figure out what that is because <laughs> I don't remember. So let's go out there. Okay, so here's my new tool. Check that out. I love this new tool. It's like my favorite thing now. Just chops up the meat. I love it. Okay, now we have taco meat done. I will start on the sloppy joe meat as soon as this one cooks down for a bit. Also made some rice because we have some extra sweet and sour meatballs that we made last night. So Jason and I will have that for dinner. Okay, so <laughs> Jason's brother stopped by. He's in town. They're heading out to Chicago for a family vacation. And then I had to call his wife, my sister-in-law, while he was here because I needed to give her a bag for her to travel with that she forgot to get. 
Anyway, so we've been chatting with them for the past hour, but I've got my taco meat. I need to pull out the fatty stuff. And then I have my taco meat. I have it cooling here, and then I'm gonna put it in the fridge overnight so that I can put it into uh, freezer bags. This one here is gonna be, I was gonna do it all sloppy joe mix, but I think I'm gonna take out a pound of it or so so that I can make like a freezer lasagna with it. Oh, it's kind of an anticlimactic day. And we still have teenagers here. No boys. But I'm tired. It's nine o'clock. Call it a night. Take care. Look forward to a vacuum video. It's actually really good. If you haven't vacuumed or cleaned out your vacuum, you just wait. This is gonna like make you wanna hurl, maybe. But also like, oh, I need to clean my vacuum. I promise you, you're gonna wanna clean your vacuum after you watch this video. It's coming next. Take care, see you later. Hey friends. <laughs> Say it. You know you want to. Okay. So you got to make sure you keep the moisture out of the motor. So there's a lot of things you, in life you want moist, but this is not one of them. <laughs> my wife hates the moist word. I, it's like my least favorite word. <laughs> so he tries to use it when he can.